So, um, and, and I think I, I'm, I'm quite vocal about this. Um, in 2022 and into early this year, 23, we've looked at the number of impressions that we've we've served globally, and and um, 2022 is 11 billion impressions served globally across fine casts um, in India and the US and, and um, Canada and EMEA um, and the, the entirety of the APAC region. And of those 11 billion impressions, under 1% had any form of creative message optimization. So our brands leveraging um, addressable TV, that wonderful um, creative canvas, the big screen that everyone has pretty much within their household. Um, and we really wanted to delve into that further and having been at Cannes last year um, and listened to Orlando Wood from, from System One um, talk about this notion of triple jeopardy, you know, and really not focusing, brands potentially not focusing on getting the right creative message in front of their customers to really drive that that sort of action, that brand sentiment, the brand loyalty. And so we took that away and over the last 12 months, we've, we, we've, we've worked on a research piece that looks across 13,000 um, 13, uh, audience panel or, or base um, and across 46 fine cast um, clients to really delve into their creative, the creative they were serving within the addressable TV um, space. Um, and look at those triggers, whether it be uh, a star rating, which is how positively a consumer is reacting to the ad that's being served to them, a spike rating, which is the propensity of an ad within an addressable um, TV, uh, within the addressable TV space to drive a short term uplift in sales and then fluency, which is essentially the relationship between um, you know, between uh, the, the brand and, and the response for the consumer. So we've taken all of that and we've kind of worked it into this incredible research piece that has allowed us to look across 46 clients, all sectors, all categories, to understand what's really resonating with, 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 um, with customers. Um, the results of that mean that we're actually able to look at post-campaign, um, sorry, pre-campaign pre enhancements. So before creating you know, the, the, the TV creative itself, think about the characterization within it. Think about you know, the, the sort of sound, the audio within it. Um, think about whether it is looking at a price point um, or whether it is about building brand, brand awareness, but really take those visual cues and then build off the back of that using really advanced um, video assets and obviously sort of technology platforms. And then over and above that, taking data triggers and again, enhancing the creativity with real-time data triggers. Um, and so that's been 12 months in the making and something that, that, that really came, as I said, came from Khan 12 months ago. When we're thinking about creativity, that's what we're here to do. You know, it's, it's a, a wonderful week of thinking about um, brands. Um, and so obviously that, that's kind of been our big focus um, this year. Um, and and brands and clients are really, really responding to it. Mm. So it sounds like that effort to marry uh, creativity and creative optimization with addressability <clears throat> was sort of a pilot, a study over yeah. the last 12 months. Is that becoming an uh, ongoing operational part yep. of the Finecast platform going forward? Yeah, absolutely. So um, what we're doing is we're actually working to operationalize it and to enable it. And so um, we've kind of built a framework uh, that leverages our research, leverages pre campaign enhancement with the benchmarks that we've garnered from the research itself. We're working with um, Choreograph Create, um, who operate within the Group M and WPP ecosystem, Satalia from an AI perspective, um, and obviously multiple data partners to really enhance those data triggers and enables us essentially to be able to optimize um, creative um, real-time based on the triggers that we're seeing from clients. So absolutely, and it's very much a core part of conversations we're having with clients um, now. And again, it's specific to the fact that addressable television absolutely plays in the full funnel. You know, so let's call it brand performance, um, for want of a better term. So yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, it's definitely a big focus, and again, something that's re resonating with clients.